Welcome to In the Green Room. I'm Lachlan Marquet, and today we're joined by Senator Lamar Alexander. He's the senior senator from Tennessee and the ranking Republican on the Appropriations Subcommittee dealing with environmental issues. Senator, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Why do you oppose subsidies for wind energy? Well, number one, we don't have the money. Uh, number two, it's a puny amount of unreliable electricity. And number three, it's destroying the environment in the name of saving the environment. In short, it's a scam. And what about other energy sources like oil, coal, natural gas? Should we eliminate subsidies for those as well and allow them to compete on their own merits? The answer to that is yes. We hear a lot about big oil subsidies, but I think most people would be surprised to learn that big wind subsidies are even bigger than the subsidies that benefit oil directly. Over the last uh, five years, according to uh, the Joint Tax Committee, we have federal taxpayers subsidize windmills, these giant wind turbines, to the tune of $14 billion. We don't have that money. The president has said he wants an all-of-the-above approach to energy policy. Do you see that reflected in his policies? Well, he's, he's listening very well. That's been the Republican position, especially the House Republicans, for a while. And he has made some progress. For example, he's, he, he now recognizes the importance of nuclear power, which he did not when he began the administration. But at, at the same time, we're, we've seen uh, drilling for oil and gas on federal lands go down, not up. Uh, he's opposing the Keystone Pipeline, which is hard to imagine. So we, we do need a diversity in our energy supply, but that especially means in terms of electricity, more natural gas, more nuclear power, more coal burned in a clean way, and less reliance on government subsidies for, for windmills. So what can Congress do, if anything, to bring down the price of gas? Well, find more, use less should be our energy policy. We should do everything we can to find more North American uh, oil and gas. That at least avoids sending money overseas, some of it to people we don't like and makes us more independent. And then we need to use less. I mean, the uh, fuel efficiency is a good idea. I drive an electric car. Uh, the biggest untapped energy resource we have in the country is the unused electric power we have to have at night. So uh, find more is a, the president is a, a recent convert to that idea, but the more he advocates that, the better I like it. Energy Secretary Stephen Chu has said that it's his department's policy to wean the country off of fossil fuels, not to bring down the price of oil. What do you make of that statement? Well, I, that would not be my objective. Our objective should be low cost, cheap, reliable energy. There's been too much talk about actually increasing the price of energy. That's a terrible idea for our country. Uh, that means jobs move overseas. It means poor people can't afford uh, to heat themselves in the winter and cool themselves in the summer. What we want is cheap, clean electricity, and that should be our goal. 